everybody, it's your boy King Crowder back again with another edition of History You May Not Know and Things That Are Not Taught in Detail for us for sure. This time, I want to go all the way back to Chocolate City. Shout out to DC, fourth home, third home, whatever you want to call it, right? You ought to move around quite a bit. I think today's lesson should be focused on the iconic U Street. Did you know that U Street was equivalent to a Freedom Town? Did you also know that U Street was called a Black Broadway inspired and got its popularity as being a Harlem Road in DC? U Street was established because it was at a spring point near Howard University. U Street served as the economic, cultural, and main sphere for Black Americans during the Jim Crow era, which was going on prior to urban renewal hitting. The nickname of U Street was Black Broadway with over 250 black black businesses solely by black Americans and solely by black bank, industrial bank, which is the oldest black bank in that area. You must understand that like many black Wall Streets that we see across the country, U Street was the main hub for Black Hub Street in the District of Columbia for all the black Americans around that time. People do not know that many black Wall Streets were formed due to the uprising of free blacks around this time. One of the best businesses still going on actively in Black Wall Street currently is Ben's Chili Bowl. It has served a nickname for the best chili and tourist attractions in the District of Columbia. This chain was started roughly around 1950 from its families and has still been a Black stable hub to this day. The iconic reference for U Street was primarily held to the teeth by its businesses. We must understand that that culture, the music style, the luxury, the dancing, that all infused in politics came from the primary luxury of Howard, no, undoubtedly, in U Street Strecking. Secondly, many movements that we've seen, such as the March on Washington, children's being around, open display of affection, uh, going against um, nonviolent protests, all these things happen in the nation's capital. U Street deserves its credit for having an influential boundary for any black Americans traveling to the district around that time. You got the ability to shop and be around culture and things of your ethnicity. U Street now is still a famous street. If you ever go to DC, it's always highly recommended that you go there. But most people do not know the origin story of why it got so big. Most people have no idea why it was so influential and why you had to go to U Street. Remember back in the time, all the cultures were in the environment that you saw the free blacks from. So to hear that music, to hear that talent, everything was not integrated. You had to go to those markets to see those up and coming on. It's your boy King Crowder checking back out with another historical gem that I thought was critically important. This one is focusing on the Metro in DC. Please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And did you know that landmark is still going to this day? It's your boy checking out. Peace.